Hi, I'm Pete Berry, Product Management Director of Sanomatic, and today we're talking strainer element types. Okay, so today we're talking about strainer element types and we have a cutaway angle line strainer uh, with standard flow and this one actually has our midnight trap uh, option as well. Uh, but we're going to focus on the actual element here. So we're looking at a quarter inch perf element and I'm going to take this apart and we'll talk more about it. All right, so we just disassembled our strainer element from our strainer assembly. Uh, and as you can see and mentioned earlier, this is a quarter inch perf element. Uh, the perforations are small circular holes within the element. And again, this is our largest size we're looking at, a quarter inch perf. Uh, on the perf side, we go down to 16 inch, which we'll take a look at later. Uh, we'll also look at and compare and contrast this to wedge wire elements as well. Uh, now, if you're just doing straining of larger particulates, uh, you may just need a perforated element here. So if I'm looking at these quarter inch perfs, I'm gonna stop and strain anything larger than that quarter inch, right? So anything smaller than this is gonna pass through my straining element. Uh, so if quarter inch, we also have eighth inch, 330 seconds and 16th inch. If those perforations are enough, you can just use a perforated strainer element, which is real nice because it's a, it's a one piece solution if you're just using this. Uh, nice clean perforations holes, uh, easy to clean out, uh, clean out a place when you have to take it out and, and wipe away the materials there. Uh, now perforation, this is our quarter inch, we're going to go down to uh, our eighth inch size here so you can see the difference about, rough difference between these two sizes here, quarter inch, eighth inch. Uh, a lot of times the perforated strainer elements are used in con conjunction uh, with overlays. So here we have an example of a mesh overlay. Uh, this is 316L stainless steel. Uh, it's a wire mesh overlay, uh, but we also do filter tubes. So uh, filter tubes are nylon, uh, polypropylene, different uh, materials that we can also overlay onto these elements. Um, so when you want uh, to strain finer filtration levels, uh, you can use an element that simply uh, goes over the top of the perforation and it's a really tight fit so you just get it on there and you slide it right over. And then now this uh, wire mesh overlay in this case is straining down to a finer filtration level. So now instead of that, uh, in this case, eighth inch backing that we have, uh, we have the eighth, eighth inch that really just acts as a support for this mesh overlay. In this case, this is a 60 mesh overlay. Uh, our sizes vary anywhere from, I believe, from 10 mesh all the way up to 200, 200 plus mesh. Um, so you can do different straining and finer filtration with a mesh overlay or a filter tube in conjunction with this perforated tube. So I'll put that aside and we'll move down the line here. Uh, I mentioned 16th inch perf. So uh, this again is just a uh, smaller hole size. Um, this one, as you can see, is also longer. So the strainers that we've been talking about, the, the elements we've looked at in the body that we looked at, that's all of our short angle line strainers. So there's a certain surface area on here that you can strain. And obviously once you fill up on that and you have to uh, replace that as the pressure drop is gonna get too high. Uh, but our long strainers, this is a good example for the size of the long strainers. And it's about double the length of the short strainers. Uh, and then this is our finest or our smallest perforated size, so 16th inch. So again, you can compare and contrast the largest size, the quarter inch with our 16 inch perf. Um, now we'll get into our wedge wires. Uh, wedge wires, uh, different construction, so you can see right off the bat, you know, it doesn't have those hold perforations like the perforation does. Uh, they're, they're slits, and a lot of times people will also call these, and you'll see these referred to uh, in standards as, as uh, V-wire or V-profile wire, uh, and that's because the actual uh, metal inside of here is V-profile. So we're straining from the outside in. Uh, in this case, this is a 015 or 0 0.015 inch wedge wire. So the, th what that means is the actual slits or slots are that size. So that's the level of straining that you're getting with this wedge wire. Um, the nice, piece, nice thing about the wedge wires is, again, it's a one-piece solution that, that strains down to a final filtration. So if you like the idea of you know, straining in the mesh levels of, of 60 mesh, 100 mesh, uh, but you don't 
uh, one overlay on it. You just want one piece to clean and take out and disassemble and inspect. Um, the wedge wires are a good solution for that. Um, we're going to move down to, I'm going to grab uh, this example, uh, wedge wire taller, as we call it. So this is not a, a fabrication piece. So this is something we, we wouldn't want to build and put in the process. Uh, but as we take a look at it, you'll see, and I'll go through the finer wedge wire uh, filtration sizes. So we're taking a closer look at our wedge wire tower. And again, this is something that we built to show the different sizes of wedge wire slots or slits here. And this ranges all the way from 0 0.002 or two thousandths all the way to 0 0.06 or 60 thousandths of that opening size. So this is a good uh, way to visualize that range. So this category or this grouping right here is 0 0.002. We jump into 0 0.005 here, 0 0.01, 0 0.015, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, and 0 0.06. So as you're looking at these sizes and visualizing, uh, you know, a lot of times you have to obviously specify size here, and sometimes you might know the exact sizing of your particles you want to strain out from a uh, number standpoint, and that's great, uh, but a lot of times it might be more visual. So I want to strain particulates that you know, are about this size. So uh, this gives you a good range of the different sizes of these wedge wires. Okay, so other information that you might need when specifying strainer elements, whether it's wedge wire perforated, uh, can be found in our sanitary components catalog. So if you go to the, any of the strainer sections, uh, in this case, we're gonna look at the angle line strainer section. Under the replacement parts, we have a section on strainer elements and we segment that by uh, perforated or wedge wire. So on perforated, uh, hole size is what you're specifying. Uh, the information that most people are looking for is that open area percentage. So you know, for 16th inch, it's 23%, all the way up to quarter inch, it's 58%. Uh, looking at the wedge wire straining elements, uh, again, the slot size is how we specify that. So that wedge wire tower, we saw uh, slot sizes between uh, 002 and 060. And with that, a lot of times, uh, you might not come in with a wedge wire slot size for your strainer specification. You may come in with a wire mesh equivalent or a micron rating. So that table has equivalent micron ratings and wire mesh uh, approximate equivalents, as well as open area percentages for all those slot sizes. And if you're using a perforated element and you're looking for the mesh overlay or filter tube information uh, under this accessory section of the applicable strainer section, uh, we also have information on that. So for mesh overlays, how we're sizing is based off of mesh size US, uh, but that also comes into microns or opening width and inches. So you might have those numbers that you're looking for specifications for. And in that case, uh, you can find the equivalent mesh size that we have. Open area percentage information is also in this table. If you're using a filter tube with a perforated element, the specification size we use for that is micron. So under the filter tube section, you can see the different micron ratings and then also the materials and the max temperatures uh, associated with those particular filter tubes. Thanks for joining today. Now you'll know a little bit more about our perforated strainer elements as well as our wedge wire strainer elements, uh, along with our mesh overlays and our filter tubes that go along with the perforated elements. Uh, you also know a little bit more about sizing, sizes and uh, specifications. So thanks for joining. Uh, stay tuned for more Tac Talk video blog posts. And if you have any feedback on what you'd like to see us talk about, please let us know. Thanks, have a great day.